Hi everyone and welcome to Control Alt Craft. Rose with you and today we have a soap making tutorial or video time lapse. <laughs> um, today we are making a soap that I'm yet to come up with a name for but I'm sure it'll be in the description. Um, and it is a cold process soap, all natural. Um, as you can see it has some uh, botanicals on top um, or technically herbal tea as I'll discuss in the video. Um, it wasn't how I envisioned it, but I'm not mad about that. It's quite nice and it smells very fruity and florally, which I love. So anyway, let's get into the video. So the recipe for this one can be found in the description box down below. It's the same recipe that I used in my previous cold process soap tutorial video. Um, it's quite a runny recipe and my problems with this recipe and how it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to are the result of me not waiting long enough. Um, so a lot of soap recipes tend to set up quite quickly, which means that you can use them in a thicker consistency to get the right designs that you're after. However, because I use quite a runny recipe, I need to wait, probably needed to wait about an hour for it to set up before I even did anything with it. And I didn't do that. Um, so my problem comes in the fact that I was impatient and decided to just pour it as soon as possible. Uh, this did leave me with a very runny batter that then mixed. And so you'll see some of the problems as we go, but yeah, it, it wasn't, uh, the soap wasn't playing nice with me this time around. <laughs> um, so yeah, I still haven't got a name for my soap. Uh, just a bit of a behind the curtains kind of thing. Uh, I am actually recording this voice over the day after I recorded the intro you just watched. I still don't have a name for this soap. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna have to come up with one before I post this on the internet, I imagine. Um, yeah. <laughs> Oh well, I'm sure I'll figure something out. Lately, many of you will notice that I have started Twitch streaming thanks to my best friend Jordan, aka Ultimate Medic online. Uh, so uh, most of you will be aware of her from Instagram and um, on Twitch as well. Uh, so she started streaming on Twitch probably, probably a month or so ago now. Um, when she started convincing me that I should join her and start streaming on Twitch as well. Um, and my initial reaction was, no, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> but after her nagging and nagging, <laughs> no, but I did, I eventually came around to the idea that it wasn't too bad of an idea, um, that I could use Twitch streaming as a way to, um, keep myself and others entertained, but also as a way to raise a bit of money. So I initially took it up to raise some money for some textbooks, um, however, uh, that very quickly turned into raising money for packs. Uh, so I had someone donate the money that I needed to be able to afford my textbooks this semester, so for university. So um, instead of raising money for that, I am now raising money for PAX Oz 2020, which is in October, and I am very excited. Uh, I know Jordan and her fiance Nick are going um, and they're going to meet up with everyone there and I would like to join them. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to afford to do that on my own. So I'm hoping to raise the money that I need through Twitch streaming in order to be able to go and have a great time. So that sounds pretty cool. Hey. So this soap only uses, uh, I only wanted to use two colors because the idea was it was supposed to be a split right down the middle that didn't end up working out. Um, so I wanted one side to be orange and I wanted the other side to be white. Now, because I use all natural ingredients in my soaps, uh, I couldn't use things like titanium dioxide and, and micas, so I use clays. Um, clays have certain benefits for the skin as well, um, and they also come out with beautiful colors. Uh, and they also help the soap to thicken up a little bit. So uh, I use a pumpkin colored clay and a, uh, oh, I can't even remember the name. It wasn't white, it was like a, a gray, elite clay or something I think so yeah basically I just bought a whole bunch of natural clays I have a whole range of clays kaolin clays and all this sort of stuff activated charcoal I've got plenty of that going around um, to make my soaps and to color them in different colors in ways that are natural and healthy for your skin um, so that's my whole deal on this channel I make soap now 
Uh, I didn't used to, I used to make all sorts of fun soaps with fun chemicals, but these days I try and stick to all natural uh, products so that um, it'll behave nicely with my skin. Now here we go, I'm having all sorts of trouble trying to keep the divider up. Uh, spoiler, it doesn't work. <laughs> Oh, I just can't even watch it. It makes me cringe. Oh, it just looks terrible. Okay, so it didn't, obviously didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to turn out, but that's okay. At the end of the day, it still smells really nice. I'm sure it'll still work well um, and all that good stuff. It doesn't look too bad, but it didn't, obviously didn't turn out the way I wanted it to turn out. And I made a massive mess. There's soap all over the counter. There's oil everywhere. Oil is the worst. It just, it's so hard to get rid of. <laughs> It's so hard to clean up. Oh, I just, yep, yeah, that was a fun day. Anyway. Yes, yeah, so as I mentioned, I am returning to university. I am studying counseling at university. I am hoping to become a counselor. I don't know in what field yet. I know you can specialize in certain things, you know. Some people will just do generic counseling. Others might go into, um, you know, uh, grief and loss counseling, uh, counseling, like childhood counseling, or um, you might go work for like, uh, in Australia we have Quitline, which is like a um, anti-smoking hotline for counseling. Um, yeah, there's all sorts of different fields that you could sort of, I guess, specialize in. And I'm not sure which one I would want to do. I'm open to just about anything at this stage. I figure I'll probably have my mind made up by the end of the degree, so I don't have to stress too much about figuring that out right now. I also heard recently that there is going to be a Friends reunion. I absolutely love the TV show Friends, and I've probably seen each episode at least three times by now. And there was officially announced the other day, uh, in conjunction with HBO, that there is going to be a reunion episode, which is very exciting. Um, so I can't wait to watch that. I think it'll be really good. I am also really keen for Animal Crossing. I have already put down my pre-order. I'm all ready to go. We watched the director the other day. For those of you who have not yet watched it, what are you doing with your life? Uh, get onto it because it's just all the hype. I am so excited. Um, you will definitely see some of that being streamed and probably some of that on YouTube as well. Um, so make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all that kind of stuff, both here and follow me on Twitch. All my deets will be down in the description box below in case you are wondering where to go and find me. I am using herbal tea on top of the soap as well, as you can probably see on screen right now. Um, I am using a all natural herbal tea that I bought from some hippie store somewhere. <laughs> um, because I wanted some botanicals for the top of the soap that hadn't been exposed to like pesticides and things like that. So I wanted to make sure it was all natural and healthy um, rather than just something decorative and cheap that you could buy off of like eBay. So um, that's why I went with uh, those botanicals that you can see on top right now. And oh, this whole bar, it looks beautiful all together. Individual bars themselves just don't look as great. I'm also having a lot of difficulty cutting this bar because, okay, so as you can see, the, uh, the video now has some very strange lighting because you're supposed to cut the bar 18 to 24 hours later, really. Um, and I left mine about two and a half days because I forgot about it. <laughs> so the bar was really hard by the time I got to it to cut it. So it was very difficult to cut. So you'll see me struggling a lot in this section. Um, whoopsies. <laughs> oh, well. So yeah, this is the unnamed soap. It's scented with um, all natural orange extract, so it smells fruity, but then the botanicals on the top make it smell kind of florally as well. So it's a very, uh, what I would say, quite a feminine uh, smell and look and appeal to it. Um, my cutting is terrible. I cannot cut a straight bar of soap. I need proper cutting tools that I don't have. So for now, you see all my wonky bars. <laughs> I only give my bars to like friends and family anyway, so it doesn't really matter that they're not like perfectly straight. I'm not selling them at the moment. I would like to one day, so I should probably invest in some actual equipment. If I'm gonna sell soap, I would have to buy like everything in bulk and make lots of it. I would probably buy a better stick blender. You know, like I would be buying a lot if I was actually gonna do this as some kind of uh, income stream. Um, but for now, it's just a hobby. It's fun. It keeps me clean because of my uh, weird skin condition. I have to have all natural soap. So 
It works well for me, my friends like it, my family like it, so yeah. I did also make recently uh, some bars of soap that were made with honey. Um, however, you have not seen photos or videos of that because it was a disaster. Um, basically the soap works, it just looks horrible. <laughs> and that's all I'm going to say on the matter. So there you have it guys, there is the soap. It is all finished and looking stunning. I am happy with it, even though it wasn't what I was going for initially, I can still appreciate it. And some of those little soaps there were made with some leftover soap that I had in the end. Anyway, thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll catch you all next time. Bye. <laughs>